Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Perso 5003 sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 54 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge, and these are part of Perso's Titanium Made in Japan collection. So these are an ultra high-end pair of sunglasses coming from Purcell. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these sunglasses. Here we can see they have an absolutely beautiful double bridge design and they have these absolutely beautiful gold titanium frames and these frames go perfectly with these light blue crystal lenses. If we take a look at the top right lens of sunglasses, we can see a little etched Purcell logo here on the lens. We can also see that these sunglasses have those traditional Purcell arrows here on the front of the frames. And also we can actually, these do have Purcell's Meflecto stem system built into the sunglasses, even though these are fully titanium frames, which is definitely very impressive. For those of you guys who don't know, Purcell's Meflecto stem system allows the sunglasses to bend to give a custom fit to the face and they actually work pretty well here with the Meflecto stem system even here on this titanium pair of sunglasses and I'm sure this was not easy at all for a person to do when manufacturing these. There are some absolutely beautiful etchings here on the sunglasses. Here on the second lower bridge we can see an absolutely beautiful etching here and then here on the outside temples again we can see some really nice etching and then here around the lens again we can see some beautiful wave etching which is looks really really good and really helps add a lot of character to these frames. Now because these frames are made out of titanium, they are extremely lightweight. The frames with the lenses actually only come in at 25 grams, which is extremely lightweight, especially considering that these are glass lenses, which are gonna be much heavier than Palmer lenses. But of course, glass is much more premium and it's also going to be much more scratch resistant. And glass, of course, also has better clarity than plastic lenses. So it's really cool that Purse was able to bring down the weight on these because of those titanium frames, but still be able to keep all glass lenses. These sunglasses have very nice and premium all metal hinges, which just feel very good when opening up and when closing them. And actually, when you touch the temple tip to the frame, we can hear a very substantial sound of the titanium clinking against each other, which just sounds very nice and premium. So on the outside of these frames, like I said, we have this absolutely beautiful gold polished material, but here on the inside, we actually have a much more traditional titanium gold color, which is nice and matte. And that also adds a really nice contrast to these frames. Now taking a look at the inner right temple sunglasses, we can see it's a personal made in Japan, and then it's a titanium after that. Now these sunglasses also do have fully adjustable all metal nose rest that have personal etched here on the nose rest. I think that is a really cool touch. And again, it feels really nice when wearing them on the face. With the and also on the second bridge of the sunglasses, they actually give the lens size and the bridge width. So they say 54, 16 here. And that is for authentication purposes. That way it's a little bit harder to fake these sunglasses. Not that this is a very popular pair of sunglasses that would ever be faked anyways, because just to make a half decent replica of these sunglasses, it would cost absolutely millions of dollars in research and development. So I definitely don't expect this pair of sunglasses to be faked at all, but it's really nice to see that Purcell did go ahead and add that etching there anyways, just because they could. Now, as far as optical quality on these go, like I said, these do have all glass lenses, so the clarity of these is going to be very good. And of course, they are going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays. They also have a very nice anti-reflective material, which is going to help reduce sunlight coming in and bouncing off the lens and going into your eye. So that's really nice to see here as well. Now, these sunglasses do have category two lenses, so they're going to be very good for overcast days to bright days, but these are not going to be great for extremely bright and sunny days. For something like that, you're going to want a category three lens. So that's just something to note when pick up a pair of sunglasses in this exact colorway. Of course, Purcell does make the sunglasses in other colorways that do offer category three protection, but these light blue lenses are only going to offer that category two protection but I think the color of these lenses just look absolutely gorgeous out in the sunlight. They just look really, really nice and they have a very cool color and tone and looking through these sunglasses is an absolutely wonderful experience. Again, that clarity is really, really rich and these lenses do a good job of bringing out all the colors of the outside world. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these aren't going to offer the best coverage. There is going to be a gap to sunlight in unprotected here up top. And then here on the sides, again, there's a pretty big gap to sunlight in unprotected. So that 
paired with their Category 2 lenses are going to make these sunglasses, again, good for overcast days, but not great for extremely bright and sunny days. Now, as far as pricing goes, these are definitely pretty expensive, coming in at $370, and I think it's actually a very good deal considering the quality that you're getting on this pair of sunglasses. You're getting a very rare pair of personal sunglasses that are made in Japan. All the etching on these frames is absolutely gorgeous, and of course, the styling here looks really, really good as well. So you're getting a very unique pair of eyewear, for a pretty decent price, but I've actually seen this a little bit cheaper on Amazon, so I am going to leave a link in the description down below where you guys can pick up this exact pair of sunglasses on Amazon and hope you'll save a couple of dollars by doing so. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure to subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.